day. It's good to be back with you. Uh, as it feels like we're going into, what is it, our 17th year of quarantine, of lockdown. Uh, it feels like it's been a lot longer than it has. I think it's actually been about five weeks. But as we get into this uh, for longer and longer, this longer period of time, I think the word persevere is going to become really important. Now, obviously, on Sunday, those that dialed into the live stream uh, heard me talk about persevering in prayer. And I believe that that is the word to us as a people, to us as a church right now, is that we must persevere in prayer. So I want to take a moment to pause as we do a couple of sessions on one of the Bible verses that I referenced. Uh, it wasn't the 1 Peter one, it was the 1 Corinthians 3, 9. And quite simply it says, we are God's fellow workers. From the Amplified Version it goes on to say, his servants working together. You are God's cultivated field, his garden, his vineyard, God's building. So I want to take a couple of sessions over the next few days to unwrap that a little bit. But I think to begin with, before we even think about persevering in prayer, God is going to ask us, are we present? Because to persevere in anything, especially to persevere in prayer, first we must be present. So the question I believe is, is there something in your life right now that is blocking you? Is there something in your life right now that is getting in the way of your persevering in prayer? Is it a busyness? Is it a sin? Is it a distraction? Is it a problem? Is it a misunderstanding? If there's something in the way, I believe we have this opportunity now to call out to God and say, Lord, break down whatever barrier that might be. Because we know that to be in persevering prayer, we first have to be present. Psalm 46 tells us that he is our ever-present help in times of trouble. It's a beautiful promise. We know that he is never changing. We know that he is the same yesterday, today and forever. So we know that in this, this call to be co-workers with God, we must persevere in prayer. This call to be co-workers with God, we need to first be present. We need to remove any distractions that we might have in the way. I was listening to Bible in a Year today. I've just started it, actually. Most people start it in January. It's been highly recommended. Uh, it's just something I'm doing in the quiet times in my, uh, in my morning space uh, before I start work, uh, before I'm distracted by anything else in the world. And uh, we were just going through Genesis in the very beginning. And Nicky Gumbel, the author of it, the speaker of it, uh, just pointed something out today. It's, it's, it's beautifully simplistic. Uh, I've read that book a thousand times and I've never seen this before in this particular light. It's a beautiful way to see it. And he said the first question that God ever asked in the Bible was, where are you? And it's when Adam and Eve were in the garden and they just sinned and they just realised that they were naked. So they went and hid. And when God came walking in the garden, he wanted to be in relationship with Adam and Eve. He wanted to be there with them. He wanted to see them, but he couldn't find them. So he called, where are you? I believe that that is our call today, as we are understandably called to persevere in prayer, as we know that we want to co-work with God because that's his calling on our life. Before we do any of that, he's asking us, where are you? Guys, don't be condemned by that. It's because he loves you. It's because he doesn't want to be away from you. He doesn't want to be apart from you. It's very simple. All we have to do is repent and turn back to him. Take a moment to dedicate that, that time to God in prayer every day and he will remove any of those barriers because he loves you, because he chose you. So Lord, that's my prayer for my friends and my family and my church. Lord, that we lay our lives down again or fresh today at the foot of your cross. We say, Jesus, we love you and we trust you. So guys, I miss you. I look forward to going on this journey with you over the next few days and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. God bless.